And unfortunately, now, last week, like on. you said, I, I have to apologize to our listeners and viewers. This is a, a, a formal, this is a formal, formal apology. apology. From Alex, me. take it away. I thought this race was around the streets of Nashville. That's what you told us. Exactly. That's why I'm apologizing. It was not. I can't oh, believe, I can't believe you lied. To, I can't believe you lied to the world. I lied to the world. I didn't do my research. But well, last year's grand finale was so good around the streets of Nashville. They raced on an oval circuit. Yes. Um, short oval. I didn't know that. I thought it was the best track in the world, but it wasn't. When I first saw it, I was like, which out of the four corners, where's the bridge? No, because <laughs> when I saw Polo won the championship, spoiler alert, Polo won the championship. When I saw that, I'm like, hang on, was this last year's results? <laughs> 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 was this the race before? Like, how can I, did you win the championship last week? <laughs> anyway, I do apologize. Um, if you want to go watch the best race track in the world, just YouTube it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> From 2023? Yeah, it, it was still called the Music City Grand Prix. I'm yeah, sure. it was. That's so, why I got so confused. I must. There must be a reason. I don't know. Yeah, we got. But to... anyway, yeah, yeah, like you said, Safety. Alex Pelo. Yeah, probably. Alex Pelo won the IndyCar Championship for 2024 because of a safety issue with uh, Will Power, who was his rival. Thirty. They came into the weekend thirty points f- between each other. Unfortunately, I think lap twelve. I think. Um, Will Power, apparently his seatbelt came undone or something like that. Came loose and he had had to pit and unfortunately that was his day done. How? Yeah. How? How unfortunate. You it's wouldn't like, think It's that. like an air box coming, staying on the car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. a whole championship, it's the final race. Would he have won the championship had that not happened? So well, it would have had a head, chance. Because um, Alex Pelé himself finished eight, 11th. Oh, Wow. And he was in the, he was in the top five before it happened, is it? Will Power. So the problem, the point system is very weird. So Alex Pelo got nineteen points from from eleventh. So uh, Will would have had to have come second or first. But he would have had to win. He lost that opportunity, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is a real shame. And you don't normally see it um, losing a championship um, just because of seatbelts. Just yeah, I don't think that. that's ever happened before. No. So and the worst part is he actually. F- oh my god, I think here is this correct? Yeah, he actually finished fourth. So he dropped down the championship to fourth. Wow. From second. And Colton Herder, I wow. see there, finished second. Who actually ended up winning the race ahead of Alex. Um, sorry, Pato Award. Um, that was actually Sheesh. incredible. Um, Colton Herder actually did really, really that well. Must have been a, bit, a fair bit of prize money. Can you imagine yeah. that? That oh, mechanic. Definitely. The one responsible for tightening the belts. Some what? say he's still hiding. <laughs> Some say he from drove Roger Penske. Off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some say he wow. ripped his own contract and just drove off. Just drove off. Left. <laughs> I'm leaving. Sorry, boys. I know where this is headed. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't worry about don't worry about paying me for this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm he's, out. he's going to help a go kart team where belts aren't required. Yeah, probably he's gone to work for Chip Ganassi who won championship. Yeah. Thanks, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, he'd definitely oh. be on my Christmas card list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate. Well, it's unbelievable that Alex Polo, I think, has won three out of four championships in the last four years. He's really incredible. And yeah. he was, I think, originally is, poised for Formula 1. He seat. doesn't actually he win that much. Scott McLaughlin had more wins than him this year. But it's it's all about that consistency. Yeah, exactly. That's what the Alan Prost is known for. He had... Yeah, so he had the professor. professor. He had thirteen. That was, that was weird. Hang on, we're gonna stare at each other now for yeah. a certain <laughs> for a reason. comment. Oh, please don't. I'm gonna cover the camera. <laughs> <laughs> if you um, know, you know. Um, yeah, he had thirteen <laughs> top fives this year. Thirteen yeah. top tens and three poles and two wins and yeah, finished I mean, every race. The guy who finished second in the championship had ten. You know, like that's mm. an additional. Um, three top fives, and at the end of the day, that's that's all it took, you know. Yeah. And, and also laps led, he didn't have that many laps led. Like, look at that, like Scott McLaughlin. Oh my god, he led the most. Scott look McLaughlin had six hundred and th- my boy Scott McLaughlin had six hundred and thirty-seven laps led. Wow. And Alex Polo had two hundred and sixty-three. That's crazy. That's a good sign what? for next year, though. If um, so, all know. Scott needs to do really more. He had five poles. Wow, he should have won this championship. Sorry. Yeah. Um. 
the top eight, the top, the top, the top fives are the difference. It's like what we saw yes. at GRM though. Um, so maybe next year he might be. So he had five five less top tens than Alex, and that's that's literally the only thing that Alex has beaten him on. That, that's crazy. Yes, that's crazy. It's but, all about that consistency. Sheesh. You're gonna be there at the end, and you're gonna be there when it counts. Those final laps. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, like like we said, Polo finished eleventh in his race, mm. so there was opportunity for someone to win. Exactly. Yeah. And um, let's go back. There wasn't too much it wasn't exciting like we all hoped given how it wasn't on the street circuit considering it was the wrong track <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes um but there was a really cool battle with new garden and kirkwood at the start they just bolted compared to the rest um which was weird massive gap between the two uh and then new garden versus herder we saw that and then it came Pato award was leading for a while there uh Pato award he he you know he's definitely championship worthy as well, but unfortunately um, he's had some issues he's throughout too many, the year. Too many issues, exactly. Mm. Mechanical, mm. mechanical. It's McLaren, um, but even then, you know, McLaren have finally turned around Formula One, so maybe they might turn around here. But and uh, Zach Brown was actually there, getting ready to fire the engine department. Oh, he fired a driver somewhere. They've well, had, they've yeah. had sixteen yeah. drivers well, this that's year. That's saying that being said, Rossi's race is last McLaren race, <laughs> and, and then did one. An engine has blown now. Driver out exactly. Yeah, don't worry about don't worry about the engineers. No, it's funny. They'll be like, uh, uh, Pato Award had an engine failure. All right, other car driver, you're out. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Pato Award had his seat the whole year. Yeah, no yeah. one else did. No one Segal, you were fired because Pato Award couldn't finish. Right? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I think Zach Brown's been watching too much Vince McMahon and WWE. You know, like he's just like yeah. you're fired. Suits, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The suits. Yeah. yeah, I love suits. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, with that being said, let's have a quick look at the top 10 of the of the IndyCar sure race. We got uh, Colton Herter, Pato Ward, Joseph Newgarden, Kyle Kirkwood, Scott McLaughlin, who shout out. I'm going to give Scott a shout out. He's about to have another a, one. His partner, Carly, is about to have yeah, another one. Another one. Yeah, next month. I shout out it? him a lot. Yeah, he's about to have a baby. So season's finished and he wrote, um, yeah, great. Something about great season uh, now on to being a dad. So congratulations to him. That's awesome. When the baby is born, and as um, a fellow yeah. dad myself, get it's more, gonna be awesome. Get more top fives. <laughs> exactly. Next year, win the championship. Yeah. Get it. Win the we'll trophy and put the baby in the trophy. That's a good point. You remember, you remember, he put chicken nuggets Ex in the <laughs> trophy. What a transition! <laughs> hey? Wait, is that what are we saying? Babies are chicken nuggets? <laughs> no, no. Can we get some after this? I reckon we should. That's not a bad idea. Damn. Um, Santonio Ferrucci <laughs> was sick. Marcus Armstrong in seventh. Uh, Lunas Lindquist in eighth. David Malukas ninth. Connor Daly again, another top ten in that ten. Not bad. <laughs>